What's up? Let me uh, refresh, make sure we are set. Make sure you can hear me. Let me know if you can see me. Let me know. Uh, we don't want any technical difficulties. Um, make sure we are set. Let me make sure um, we have the camera, all that settings right. So smash or pass today, which is also going to be good because we can use some uh, visuals with this new little slideshow version. Um, so it'll help us out a little bit more. Um, let me go back and see who's in the chat. Will, what's up? Uh, Taylor's here, Ocean, so Patrick, Jimmy, Dan, uh, Taylor's here. Let me see, Alfonso, Joseph, Solfed, uh, Half a Pino, what's up? You get a shout out in the in the slideshow on some of the photos. Uh, let me see, Jake, what's up? Jay Ochoa is here, finding a bunch of Air Max 95s and 97s. Uh, let me see, Half a Pino, who saw Fulmer Simpson at Ross in Tampa? They said they ran into a reseller. That's random. Uh, Derek, what's up? Joseph McCurrell Venom. Faith, good to see you too. Uh, let me go back up here, make sure everything's good. I can refresh this uh, browser. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Let's see. Wesley, what's up? Uh, greetings from NC. And let me, all right. Looks like we're good on that part. And Taylor, let me see. Have a good Instagram so you can start sharing my stuff for sure. So you can send me anything, tag me anything. Um, and I have it right here in the slideshow at the very end. We'll go through all of the. Uh, um, shout outs and tags for IG. Doug the Pug, good to see you too. And Justin K, what's up? Fashion be legal in the building. Nice. Uh, downtown FBA flipping RBX because it's so dry. <laughs> and yeah, RBX has been getting into everything as you've seen them, the dog training pads. Um, maybe we start taking pictures of everything I see of RBX and throw that in there um, in the videos or Instagram. Uh, just got home from Ross, uh, Ross Ocean. So good to see you too. Let me uh, make sure we're good. Okay, looks like everything's set. So let's start the show and let me do uh, the uh, screen share. Make sure you can see everything. All right, back, back. <laughs> Things have been giving us a hard time. All right, what's up? Um, who else is here? Oh, Joseph already said, what's up to Joseph, I think. Um, Dem what aside Dominguez is good to see you too. All right, let me share. All right, let's start off with um, who took some L's? Who took the biggest L? Either uh, Will Smith as Genie or um, you trying to pick up Travis Scott Jordan ones. <laughs> it was a rough um, early part of the week. Let me know who picked up Jordan one, Travis Scott out there uh and and we can look at the genie but it's like what i mean why'd they have to do him like this this was this was just totally uncalled for um he looks like a blue shrek uh, why did they do this to him uh but i think everyone took mad l's on the jordan ones if you look at the prices right now it's out of control um like 1200 bucks 1600 bucks 1800 bucks uh, depending on the uh, the size, it's out of control right now. Um, let me see. You picked up five pairs from DH Gate. <laughs> from Brian. Danny, what's up? Haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. Uh, where can you find Travis Scott? That's They're not releasing until April. Um, but then again, when it's out, I think it's still going to be like a sneakers app exclusive. Um when that happens, I think the resale value will go down somewhat depending on how many pairs are really out there. Um, as far as I know of, I don't think there's a lot, uh, but they're all supposed to be just like in a, a sneakers app exclusive. So we'll see what happens. Um, but right now, if you're able to get some, they are selling really, really good. Uh, what's up? Jose says here, Ron Jake to see you too. Paper Drew says April 19th. So there we go. Official date on here let me make sure we're not freezing up all right we're not freezing up everything's good there um all right let me go down next slide so paypal doing the reminder um the 1099 going through your reports tax documents like i said i'm getting a lot of questions um for the first time i mentioned it and then now that i'm mentioning it every single week uh more and more people now that it's tax time are like getting worried and wondering what to do uh, so just double check on this uh, for the 1099, throwing that out there, and we'll uh, we'll keep mentioning it every single uh, week. All right, word, um, our word of the week, lucky. So here's the conversation: is 
how much, I guess, going through Ross finds, Burlington finds, Marshall's finds, how much is it really truly luck? Or does it have to do with your location? How many times you go to the stores? Because I get comments. I'm pretty sure you guys get them too on IG if you're sharing a lot of your stuff. It's like, man, you're lucky that you found that item. You're lucky that you found those Air Max, you know, 270s at Ross. Lucky you found, I don't know, 20 pairs of cleats at uh, Burlington. Um, and I do think that has to do a little bit of luck, but I think that the more you go to these stores, um, the more luck you're going to have because you're putting yourself in that position. When you have more stores, though, like District Deals, where is Dish District Deals? I don't even see them on here. Um, you have a better chance also of picking other stuff, um, as many finds as possible because you have more stores to go to and you're consistent, like you're talking about Paper Drew, then you're going more often than the luckier technically you will get. So um, that's why my word of the week is lucky. I also want to throw out there that tomorrow, Valentine's Day. So who's who's going to get lucky tomorrow? All right, throwing that out there. See, there we go. Who's getting lucky tomorrow? Where's my wife? I got to find <laughs> I got to find her. Um, I guess since it's Valentine's Day, I guess that means I have to shower tomorrow. But lucky, that's our word uh, for the week. All right. Store updates. Um, also, a reminder, Nike uh, factory and clearance stores, 30% off uh, the entire purchase. Remember, this is February 21st through the 25th, which is already next week. So um, <laughs> get some capital ready, get some stuff uh, uh, ready to go to uh, make some money. But at the same time, do your research. Um, you have to do your research because that's going to come in handy. Uh, because if you're going in kind of blind at this, then I think you're going to lose out because you're not really going to know like what items they mess with. Some prices go up and down. Um, and if that's the case, you're going to end up losing if like, you know, something went up and then plus the 30% ended up being the same price anyway. That's not going to help you out. Um, so do the research. Be ready for that. And um, yeah, friends and family. Uh, we're going to get one of those cards. Uh, someone in person that works there at the factory store or through the email. Um, if you sign up through the Nike app, things like that, they'll send it to you. Um, let me see. Also $20 off. There we go this weekend. So I think pretty much, I mean, the next two weekends are going to be huge um, when it comes to Nike and try to stock up on that. We also know Burlington has also been doing good. We're going to talk about that too. And we're also going to talk about Jordan and talk about Jordan um, tomorrow um, should be the Jordan one and um that one is what blue chill chill is that what they call it anyways we're gonna talk about that on smash or pass there's gonna be a little mix between burlington ross marshall's finds and some of these all-star weekend releases we'll do a little mix of smash or pass today um let me see hustle b is here and hustle and muscle and gritty girl boss all three of them so good to see you guys and uh district deals also is here <laughs> Um, all right, let me see what, where am I? I got lost. Uh, Jordan ones in April. Yeah. The Travis Scott, but Jordan ones tomorrow for the blue chill, which we're going to show that. All right. Power ring. Oh, before power rankings, we still got store updates. All right. Let me, uh, put that on here. So Redding, California, two wins, two W's in and out burger next to ross you can't lose not like really if california needs any more in and out burgers or any more ross but looks like they are getting both um is anybody in this area and i think this is what like kind of like northern california let me know in the chat if you're somewhat near this area if you know where it is or if you've been around there but uh yeah redding california getting ross and in and out burger for uh churn creek marketplace um so that's what they're getting <laughs> let me see that's a real double double so you can't lose on this if you're somewhat in this area yeah see north california uh let me go back up make sure we're not frozen we're not okay put this down um four hours away so joseph that's man that's still kind of a bit of a drive um to go over there but who knows maybe the grand opening try to uh um, try to figure that out, and I think it'd be good to see what they get for that first opening weekend. Go to there. 
Um, Jay Ochoa, thanks for the info. Big win. There we go. Border of Northern Cali. So Redding, California. Look out for that. Next one. Dayton, Ohio. So this is about, as Ken Hustleby said, 45 minutes away from him. Uh, Dayton, Ohio, they're getting a Ross in this uh, Dayton Mall. So let me see. Announced February 1st, the discount retail Ross just for less. So they're going in there. Dayton, Ohio, now getting one. Uh, we'll see if uh, Ken goes out there to source more and more. But one Ross. And I think, I think Ken told me that uh, Akron and columbus were also getting a new ross i don't know what's going on they're trying i mean ross is just expanding while other stores are closing ross on fire right now uh b gets a ross somewhat gets a ross he still has to drive quite a bit 45 minutes but at least he gets one somewhat <laughs> yes payless is closing um the wife likes charlotte ruse that place is closing um there's still some sears opening but uh, those are also closing, if you have any of them in your area. And I think there's another Jimboree, I think is what we talked about last time, like kids' clothing, also closing down. Crazy. But uh, these uh, off-chain retail stores, Ross Burlington Marshalls, on fire. Um, and the last one, oh, no, this is different. Uh, I, I saw this on the news. I, I brought up Marshalls News to see what's going on. Marshalls seeks PR agency to help elevate brand. So Marshall's looking to uh, get some new ideas. So uh, off-price retail giant TJX, which is shopping for PR agency with new ideas to bolster the brand, the Holmes Reports has learned. Uh, currently reviewing a variety of agencies to execute project work for the brand. Look, Marshall's, your boy's right here. Hustler Hacks. I can support Marshall's. I don't have to do Ross Finds of the Week anymore. It doesn't matter. Look, two-year, three-year deal, Marshalls. I I'll just do only thing on Marshalls on my channel. Don't worry about it. We'll make sure this brand gets up there. So, yeah, that I thought it was kind of random. All right, next one. Um, and apparently, if you're in this area, Amherst, New York. So they're moving the Burlington that they had or that they currently have now um to a vacant toys r us um area so now it's gonna find so here we go burlington is about to find a new home for this amherst location so they're gonna move everything that they have to the next one so i think the good thing about this um is that they might do something to where like they try to get rid of um, a lot of the older inventory um so they don't have to move quite a bit, but I think this is still pretty close to it um, anyway. But that might help if they have some kind of uh, sales, but at the same time, the new store, I don't like the new Burlington stores. We talked about this last time. They don't have that same Burlington musk and that smell, and it's not the same. Um, the grimier, older Burlingtons are the ones that come through. They got the cleats. They got random stuff coming in. They're always restocked. These new Burlingtons, they're just too fancy. They got, um, you know, the old Burlingtons have like, you know, broken down carpet, a little dirty. I like that. But now with these new Burlingtons, they got tile and stuff, bright lights, you know, it's, I don't know. But they're moving it. That could help out if uh, you know where this is. Um, but at least you don't want to just go one day and you're like, man. What happened in Burlington? Trust me, it's still there. They're moving it to a bigger location. Old Toys R Us. All right, that's it for our uh, store news. Um, dimly knit Burlington's are fire, exactly. Um, the, the bathrooms might stay clean for a week, though. Yeah, that's true, though. The new Burlington bathrooms are really, really good. Um, I highly recommend that. Um, you know, very throne-like, uh, but don't, don't go to... Uh, Ross, some of the bathrooms are pretty bad. Uh, Marshall's, second place. We should probably do power rankings just for bathrooms for the next one. All right, power rankings. This is what's going on. This is a little bit tough for me. Um, DD's discounts didn't really do much. I actually did go this week, too, um, and they didn't get anything new. They had the same stuff. I actually went to two stores, um, and I gave them a shot. I wasn't there. Um, 
Yellow Tag Clarence still going on. I did go to TJ Maxx. Um, the ones that I went to, um, they still had some, actually quite a bit left over um, for their Yellow Tag sale. Uh, men's shoes, I didn't see anything new for that. Women's shoes, um, they did get some NMDs, but they're like higher priced than the Burlington price. Um, so that doesn't help. So TJ Maxx is still at my number four. Uh, Ross at number three, but I feel like Ross is somewhat declining, at least in my area. Um, you guys saw the video of the Air Max 270s, but that was the only pair. I didn't see any other ones out there, at least of that colorway, like the Oreo colorway. Um, but I did find kind of like that purple and Volt one. But other than that, Kyrie's here and there. Um, their super clear and stuff is still going on. If you're able to pick some stuff up like 49 cents. Uh, but a lot of the time they have like the bigger football cleats. They're really just trying to get rid of, um, Marshall's. It looks like people are hitting. I'm not really hitting Marshall's right now. Like I haven't seen any Air Max 95s at all. Um, you guys saw the Kobe video, but again, that was only one pair. Um, high end Adidas. They're getting more NMDs. Um, haven't really seen that many like ultra boost at all. Yellow tag clearance is still going on, especially for uh, women's clothing. They have a lot of yellow tag clearance right now. Um, and then Burlington is still going to be the number one. Um, people are still finding really good high end cleats out there. Um, I'm throwing in the LeBron 16 because we're going to do a shout out and talk about that. Um, Air Max 97s has still been out there. I know people have been finding like the South Beach one again. Um, up tempos as well. So Burlington still on top right now, I think is probably the best store to go to out of all of these. Um, I did downgrade Ross a little bit and I hopefully Ross can come up, prove me wrong, but it looks like Marshall's is still pretty strong at number two. Let's see what happens. Um, my Marshall's is basically a low end Adidas outlet at this point. <laughs> Burlington too, because they've had so many different NMDs, um, even Ultra Boost for women. They've gotten so many new Adidas um, things that it's been it's been uh, pretty crazy and how they got so many of them or they just haven't been selling that well. Uh, let me go back up and see. Um, yeah, so many of the shocks. Gravity, Marshall's has just been exploding with those. Uh, let me see. Marshall's have been dry for me. That's from Max. Uh, Jake found the LeBron 16 King at Burlington this week, which we're going to talk about. Jake, what size did you find? That's what I really want to know. Doug the Pug, Ross doing me dirty. Yeah, it's been a little rougher, I think, than past weeks. Uh, Burlington has a strong lead. Going to be tough to knock them off the top spot. Exactly. They've been they've been on top for like the last three weeks. Burlington, impressive. Uh, let me see. Store manager hooked me up. That's from Joseph. Uh, picked up eight Air Max 95s at Marshalls. Man. And I haven't even seen any of them in my area. Uh, three pairs of Air Money Up Tempo at Burlington. So that's that's different because I've usually have only seen those at um, the outlets. I haven't seen any of them at Burlington. Um, my Ross has a crap ton of hyper dunks waiting on clearance. Uh, let me see zip codes of good Burlingtons. We'd have to go through the research and go through uh, city by city to find out. Um, but like I said, the older Burlingtons, that's where I think it's at compared to the newer ones. At least in our experience from me and Ken going out hustled and in my own area, the... Uh, the new Burlington has been uh, off and on here and there. All right, power rankings. We're done. We're 20 minutes into the show. Um, let me go back because I totally forgot. Um, Patrick, appreciate that with the super chat. Uh, two bucks, throwing that in there. Um, totally forgot. I like went through and then I uh, was like, man, where'd that go? Two bucks. Appreciate it. All right, now we can start um, the power rankings. Burlington fire right now. Exactly. Um, Harden Volume 2 Smasher Pass depends on the size and uh, the colorway because I've seen some Harden sell pretty good, but I've only been seeing huge sizes, especially at uh, DD's discounts. All right. Smash or Pass, item number one. And remember, this comes out tomorrow. Don't get fooled. I think the uh, Foot Locker app, for some reason, has it coming out the 21st. This comes out tomorrow, Valentine's Day. And women's only. Nike, Air Jordan 1 High, Blue Chill. And, um, of course, All-Star Weekend being in um, North Carolina. So they have that UNC colorway. Um, and uh, let me know what you think. Smash or pass. 
And it looks like we have Smash, Pass, Smash. Um, see, Pass, not my style. This ain't it, Chief. Pass, Pass, hmm. Um, all right. For the collection, let me know. Remember, this is women's only. Women's exclusive right now down the road. Um, could be different. And uh, you wish you can smash. <laughs> exactly. Uh, smash, more smashes. Uh, let me know in the chat. Do you know if this is even in your area? In El Paso, we're not getting them. I tried. I went through the app, not getting them. Good for the collection. Um, dudes, would you rock these? That's another question. Um, looks like these are going to be the available sizes out there, not just a matter of you can even get them. Uh, I wouldn't want my worst enemy to wear these. Uh, patent is Dookie, which that also is kind of tough because it's like full patent. It might really kind of, you know, you're going to get a lot of creases in there. Um, hell yes. Uh, about three today. That's from Lori T. Uh, smash, smash. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Straight to go and sock X off out loud. Um, let me see. The dude laughed at me at Foot Locker. All right. So my thing here is a smash. If you can get them. Now, currently they're at like 400 plus. Some at 500. Depends on the size. My recommendation is... Try to go for the larger sizes, convert them into the men's sizes. That's what's going to help you out the most. They're at 160. They'll definitely sell more than that. I don't know how many pairs are really out there, um, but I know this one, out of all the releases that are coming out this weekend, is is going to be the hardest one, um, I think, as far as to pick up. But that's my uh, smash and my take on it. Let me move this down a little bit because we're going to have to talk about some uh ross finds all right let's go to the next one all right we get some more visuals now with the uh, little slideshow thing so smash or pass nike mercurial superfly 6 pro fg cleats 29.99 ross has them right now um i haven't seen this particular model at burlington or marshall's anything like this but i have seen a decent amount at my ross I've mostly seen smaller sizes, like uh, a six, six and a half. Uh, I hadn't seen anything above that, which is kind of weird. But $29.99 right now is the Ross price. So it looks like we have pass, pass, pass. Man, a lot of straight passes on this. Uh, I found like five pair. It's, oh, I found like five pair of $20 smash. Pass. I had these before. Ross took forever to sell. Too flooded. Um, already saw these. Didn't see them doing too well. Hard pass. Pass. Gritty girl boss. Uh, what's the price on eBay? We're going to talk about that. Um, let me see. Paper Truth says smash. They're selling local markets. and some district deals. Uh, market flooded hard. Um, like I said, I've only seen small sizes. I haven't seen anything bigger than uh, like a six or six and a half. It's weird. All right. Let's do the research. So um, let me extend this out, make sure we can see everything. I try to go slow because I noticed that on the live, like if I really like scroll quickly, the whole thing just gets weird. Um, so right now, looking at style code only, we're not going by model and typing that in. Um, 380 results for just this uh, shoe and the same color and everything else. But we're just, just going by the uh, style code. So. Uh, 380 results. So, you know, people ask about doing the research. What makes sense? How would you know if you would want to pick these up or not? We're just going to go deeper into, um, you know, the sizes. Like, what size did you find? What's in your area? So, um, let's say we go to, let's see, it's $29.99 plus tax. You're spending about $32, $33. Depends on your state. At this point, I want to break that down further into the sizes. Let's say... Or let's see out of the 380 results, how many sizes of each. So um, eight and a half, 51. I don't know if you guys can see this. It looks kind of small. Um, I'm going to zoom in a bit um, so you guys can see it. So um, eight and a half, 51. Um, six and a half, there's 13. Like I said, I, I found six and six and a half in my area. Size nine, there's 50. Nine and a half, 56. Uh, 10, there's 41, 35, and so on. So right now, 
before we even look at completed listings, you know, who are we competing with that's selling them? And then we can break it down deeper to see um, how much they have it priced at. Can we compete? Does it make sense for us to buy them and get in this, you know, model? So um, in this case, for me, the smaller sizes, we'd have to look at the completed listings, but I just wasn't feeling it being at a six and six and a half. Uh, let me go back. Let's look at completed listings, which we can go down, down. Let's see, where are we? All right. Um, so 73 results out of that same thing. We're talking about 300, whatever. 73 results have sold, ended recently. We're looking at 60, 62 range. Let's see, 59, 50, 79, a little bit higher um, at about 80 bucks. 54, 57, and 64. We can break this down even further and go to um, the size. Exactly. eBay isn't the only market that you can sell these on. Um, Faith says sold mine for 79 on Mercari. So there we go too. Let's look at the sizes that did sell. Um, 10 and a half, uh, 9, 14, 10. Um, and those seem to be like the, the higher... Um, ones that have sold nine and 10 and a half seem to be the better ones that are moving a little bit better than the others. Um, so there we go. You can uh, look at that. I think those will probably help you out the most. So let's go back. Smash or pass. Personally, if you're looking on eBay, pass. Um, for other markets, it could work. That's what I'm saying. Size nine and 10 and a half are the most popular. I think if I did find those sizes, those are the ones to um, really look at because also, they're more. This is probably the better sizes that uh, soccer players are actually going to wear, um, because even the other cleats that I picked up, ten and a half, which I thought was a little bit bigger, hasn't really been the case lately. I think ten and a half has been probably um, uh, the higher, I guess, like the better selling cleat size lately. So nine, ten and a half might be the best, uh, but for just for eBay, I think it is pretty flooded right now on that one. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, here we go. For the people that have found this, shout out to uh, Stevie Hustles, which I don't know if he's here in the chat, uh, but he did find these. LeBron 16 King, Burlington, $49.99, smash or pass. Let me know in the chat what you think about this shoe. But here's the thing, a size 17, would you still pick it up um, even though they are pretty huge? Um, obviously we know, I mean, being a size 10, 10 and a half, 11, any of those size, you definitely get it, but a size 17, would you take the risk? Um, that's the real question it comes out to this. See, maybe not a 17 though. So it makes you think a little bit, uh, smash or comfortable man. I mean, for sure. Any other size, as long as they're smaller, you'll definitely want to pick them up. For 50 bucks, you cannot lose. But a size 17 really makes you think about it. And it's almost like one of those things like, if you passed, I could understand. If you smashed, I could understand. Uh, because of this model. Uh, Grady Girl Boss, smash, we've sold uh, 18s before. Actually, I would have smashed. So <laughs> a little changing here and there. Uh, what about a 16? That's the thing you got to think about too. But 50 bucks, really, for a LeBron 16. Let's look at the, uh, I mean, in general, before we even go to the huge sizes, we're at, you know, 199, 200, 193, 229 range, 184. Remember, these are 49.99. Um, let's go back up. Current listings, 16, 15, 14. There is no 17, at least I could see on here. Um, but that's only going my style code that could change. Um, but let's say, let's go to completed and let's just see what's going on. Completed, 199 at a size 16 just sold. New other without box, um, 200 bucks for a size 16. So 16, 14, looks like 16 is the biggest one that sold, but that's pretty good. I mean, 199, everyone's priced pretty high. It's one of those shoes that I think if it is 49, take the risk. You never know what's going to happen. So smash or pass for me, I would go with smash even at a size 17 uh, because you never know. Even if you threw it on there, it may not sell quickly. Who knows? Maybe you can get a best offer. 
uh, worth a shot. And just figure that out and see. You got 30 days if you really want to return it or not. But it's just one of those shoes that it is one of the newer models, even though, um, I mean, try it. 50 bucks. Uh, let me see. You're going to make me drive an hour to go back to pick them up. I, I don't think, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think it's bad if you left them, but I don't think it's bad if you picked them up. I mean, I could understand both sides of it because of the size, but it is also a good deal at 49 So it's in between. I could see either way. Um, but on my end, I would probably just pick them up and see what kind of offers come in um, for that being you know, cheap at 50 bucks. So, uh, let me see. Would you pick up Mercurial Super uh, Superfly 6 FG in size 6 for 20? Is size 6, I've seen it in kids and in men's. That's a, I mean, that's a thing too. Uh, let me go back. Or let me go to the next one. So, Ross, forty nine ninety nine. dollars um, Various sizes out there. Uh, Kyrie 3 Kairachi Light Shoes is what the, I guess the name is. I remember seeing these two at the outlets in the back, um, you know, back maybe, I don't know how many months ago. $49.99. Ross is uh, picking up, I've seen quite a bit of them actually. This one, and I think uh, like a red, is it Red Samurai? I don't even know. Um, but Smash or Pass, what do you think about these Kyrie 3s at $49.99? Let me see, we have Smash, Pass. Um, Helene, A, <laughs> pass, uh, it's a no, pass, pass, super smash from Mercurial Venom. So we have a little mix, pass, <laughs> and he's changed it to pass. Uh, my outlet got these at 29 plus 30% off. That's, that's insane. That's super cheap, uh, for this one. Pass on the Kyrie. I passed today. I need to stay hydrated doing these live shows. <laughs> Um, yes, if you can get 89 to 99 pass yesterday and more passes. Let's go do the research. Um, so by style code only, we're at 70 results. Um, actually, we should go to new. 63 results with um, style code only. And 79, 74, man, cheap. And it looks like they have the box too, complete with box, 59.99. Size 13, um, 75 free shipping. Um, let me see, 89, 58 new other. So uh, we're between 59 to 79 range. Let's look at completed listings and see where we're at. Ended recently. Whoops, I want to go to sold. <laughs> Man, so this person, there, there's probably the one that picked it up at your outlets for what 29 plus 30 um in that case that's totally different complete with box but still man it's pretty cheap 59.99 76 75 79 um if you got them at the outlets brand new with box for that price i would totally get that uh but at ross 49.99 without box one offs here and there um yeah i don't see it happening Pass. I mean, you really have to get it right with like no competition. And it's like, it has to be perfect for it. I had everything to fall for you to pick up this shoe. Um, but the outlets for that price, totally different. Um, <laughs> Flat World Wonder. That's hilarious. All right, let's go to the next one. A lot of questions on this shoe. Um, uh, it seems like quite a bit of people have been finding them. Air Max Plus TN. In the men's section, $49.99 for these. Um, I did see this at my Ross, two pairs at my Ross. Smash or pass. Would you, should you pick these up? Also, let me know uh, for the collection, would you rock these? Air Max Plus, TN. Um, <laughs> Looks like we have a little mix. Uh, let me see. Smash, smash, uh, pass. That's going to flood. Uh, found three of those yesterday. Smash. These things are going for 100 plus. Hulk smash. Um, everyone's finding Air Max Plus except me. It's from Doug the Pug. Um, let me see. At one point, over 30, uh, 35 pairs sold over 10. That's from Jim. Uh, smash or pass on Foam Dome. Uh, what's the price? Foam Domes. Because some of them seem pretty pricey. Smashing all of them. So, man. 
looks like a lot of people like these um, for uh, the TN. Let's go to 209 results already. Um, this one's this one's already getting up there as far as competition wise. Remember, a lot of it has to go to uh, I guess what kind of size you pick up. But um, 209 results. Um, 104 even even at 104 is is pretty cheap because you think about it with the free shipping you're spending at least tax for me comes out to like 5411 um so 104 minus that minus shipping all that that's pretty tough let's look at how many or what uh, sizes are available right now your competition wise and uh 12 and a half of course there's not a lot of them uh but 13 there's only eight. 13 might be really good to pick up. 10 and a half, 11, uh, and 10, we're at the 20 range. 25, 24 pairs. That might get a little tough. Let's look at completed listings. Um, let me go down here. Solds ended recently. So 26 out of those um, have sold. Man, 99 best offer free shipping. 114. Uh, 125, that's a little bit better um, as far as your numbers go. 125, 125, uh, 117. So a little mix, but even then, oh, these did sell in Feb. I mean, yeah, in February, which isn't bad. But remember, it goes by, um, really just depends on the size that you have out there. So I think this one is going to be tougher. Um, change this name to lowball in the game. <laughs> uh, 200 to 20 sold, yes. 26 had sold, and we can go back to see the live results. 209 results. He's got a million shoes. Exactly. He's doing, um, um, I mean, bulk in this case and trying to sell as many as he can. So the margins are different. Uh, let me go back. So here we go. In my case, I'm going with pass unless... I talked about it before. The size has to be good. Like a size 13, I'd probably risk and let's see what we can do. But the other ones, there's a lot of competition there. And there's, um, I think it's going to be tougher. Because I think there's going to be more of them coming in. And even when I found them, it was about a week and a half ago. When I researched them, there was a, probably about 105 listings or so. And even for me at that point, I was like, man, it's quite a bit on the sizes that I saw, which was 10 and a half. And that didn't really work out for me. So I was like, eh, it's a little mix. Um, so don't blame Hustler Hacks on this one. I didn't show it before 200 results. It's now at 200 results. So as a no Hustler Hacks videos. All right, make sure we're not freezing. <laughs> All right, let me go back. All right, let's go to the next one. How many of them do we have? All right, men's Air Jordan 1. Turbo Green coming out on Friday. Um, so the uh, but blue chill now Turbo Green, and of course, there's another one coming out. Um, so are you trying? Are you trying to pick these up? What do you think? Um, let me see. B grade Jordan Six All Star for eighty at the Outlet Smasher Pass. Ugh, B grades. I don't know if I trust them. Uh, B grades are tough. Uh, B grades are just tougher in general. Um, I'd probably wait unless you can get a deal now that some outlet uh, sales are coming up. Let me see. Uh, Impacting the game is running a business. He's making good money with the volume that he has. Also, we don't know what kind of uh, maybe he has someone that works for Ross that get. You know, you, if you have someone that works at Ross, there's a bigger discount in that. If you have like a family member or something. Uh, maybe that also helps him out. Who knows? I don't really know his situation. Um, but I do know he has a lot of listings and trying to really do a volume game more than quality finds as far as like being patient and things like that. All right, let me go back here. Turbo Green, what do you think? Smash, pass, smash, uh, a little mix. Super Smash Bros. 500 resale. Uh, let me see how many listings qualify for a flood. Um, I mean, it depends on the size more than anything. Cause I don't even, I mean, I look at it in general, but whatever is in my hand is going to matter the most to me because it wouldn't make sense for me to be discouraged on a find. If there's only eight listings of a nine and a half and I have a nine and a half in my hand. Um, because I, 
I wouldn't worry about a size 10 and there being 50 listings if I don't even have that size um, in my area. So in that case, it just goes by what you have. And that's why you always have to double and triple check the research because the market goes up and down. So let me see, $20 profit for 200 plus shoe. Um, I'd rather hit the thrift and spend that 200 bucks. That's for Brian. Um, so for this one, it's supposed to be a little bit uh, harder to find this shoe for this uh, weekend. So still a smash, smaller profits than the other one, but um, you're still going to make money on this because they're 160. And for the most part, they're selling at like 235, 245 range. Even if they go down a little bit, like 225, you're still making something. I just don't expect huge margins from this shoe, um, especially compared to the uh, what blue chill. So there we go. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, Youth LeBron 15 Black History Month. Shout out to Mr. Halfapino. Um, and who else found these? Because I know there's people in the chat that found these. I've been on the hunt. I've been trying to find them. I think they're just pretty cool in general. Maybe even the wife would want to wear these. But LeBron 15, super comfortable. Uh, but these are grade school, $39.99. Um, so what do you think? Yeah, <laughs> smash, smash. Uh, let me see, smash, $39.99. They are uh, grade school size. We are going to do the research on it. Uh, Terry says, I got them. No kid shoes, Doug the Pug, passed. Uh, all day smash, um, let's see, four and a half, six Y and up, smash at the right size, district deals, smash, uh, full size run, that's from uh, Noah to Flip It, Jake, what's up, uh, half a Pinot, there we go, so yeah, totally depends on the size like we talked about, um, really cool looking shoe though, like if you can get it for the collection, wife, kids, someone that fits in here, uh, in this uh, six Y or seven Y, um, hustle B probably fits in a seven Y, um, <laughs> anything that you fit in here. I think it's a really good pickup. Let me go to the, uh, here we go. Style code. What's going on eBay. So, uh, 110 results. Let me go to, oh, are you at new? Let me make sure we're on new, new without box. So 103 results and, um, we're a little mix. You knew this was going to happen too. 75 bucks, uh, <laughs> uh, 88, 89, uh, 79 range. Remember they are 39 99. Um, they are lighter. They're, they're smaller shoes. Um, but we're going to break that down. Let me see. Find my listing. It's four and a half. Y. we're going to break this down by size. That's what I'm really interested in seven. There's 11 of them, six and a half, 21 and six, 21. I don't even find any of them in my area and there's 21 results per uh, six and a half and six, uh, four and a half. Looks like there's a nine, which you mentioned was that Mark. There's a uh, nine of them on here. Let's do i uh, I'm kind of curious in a size seven, man, that's cheap for a size seven. I would think a little bit higher than this, um, than the 80 range, 95, 129, um, 79. Um, we can get out of this and at least look at completed listings to see what's going on. Let me see. Go here. Completed. Whoops. I didn't even go click on sold. Um, hundred bucks. I mean, that's solid at $39.99 uh, for these. 94, understandable. Um, some of these are pretty low, 75, 85 range. Um, but same thing. I think it matters on um on the size, but I really like the model. I think if you're patient enough, you can really get some good money out of these. So for me, I'm going to say smash, but I'm highlighting it here. Patient seller. I think this one, you're going to uh, hold on to them or uh, like I said here, mystery app, you could sell them on some other apps and uh, probably make some really good, uh, good money on those. But size seven, we talked about that too. Six and a half and six is quite a bit of them on there, but patient seller hold on to those um so there we go that's what i think for lebron 15 uh how many more do i have to go <laughs> air max 95 uh persian violet is that the right colorway the weird thing is some people have been finding these for 49 and some people for 59 i don't understand how ross has two different prices depending what's in your area 
49 or 59 what's going on here let me know if you found these in your area and how much did you pay if you did pick them up or if you passed how much were they because i'm seeing a little mixed results here let me go make sure we're not frozen and uh, nope we're not frozen we're good okay smash personal smash a little mix uh 49 here so there we go smash uh got those for 49 49 is at a bad price a little mix in the smash uh let me go to let me see look for that today no luck uh black and red ones black and red ones those are really really good totally different colorway than this black and red ones are great for personal collection and for reselling no complaints on that one um let's see are the Persian violet oj colorway for the 95s um I believe so, because that's kind of a weird, uh, I don't think it's one of the newer models that just randomly come out with stuff. Like the gold ones, I think are different. Um, let me go back. Let me see one pair. Uh, one, I found flooded size, but at Marshall's with box, probably a little bit better, but 49. Let me go to eBay. Style code only. 43 results. I'm kind of surprised too. I mean, I haven't seen this in my area uh, either. But 43 results, that's really good just in general. And that's not even counting use. Let's go to new. Um, and let's go to, and where are we? Men's. 40 results. And um, a size 11, there's 6, 10 and a half, 8. But man, look at 10, only 1. 9, 2. Uh, 12, only 1. And right now, everyone's sitting pretty good at like one, let's see, 119, 139, 159, 129, uh, 104. Come on now. You know, you can bump that up a little bit higher. 145, 119. And remember, this is eBay only. We're not talking about the other apps, um, secret apps. Um, but for eBay only, I think that's pretty good as far as like what's listed right now. Completed listings, what's going on? Let's see 16 results out of the 40 150 by it now i don't know what happened there on this bid or whatever but uh 109 150 999 159 another best offer and it looks like the same seller but a nine and a half and a 12. um let's see 120 129 um 149 also good there so I would say uh, if you're picking up for $49.99, I think that's a really good deal for that price. $59, it's still good, but go and check the size to make sure the competition is good. Uh, let me go back. So for me, this is a smash. Um, it could be still somewhat of a patient seller, but um, and also could be a pass at $59 if it's kind of a bad size. But in general, there's not a lot of them listed, and it looks like they're selling... Um, pretty good here and there but for 49.99 that's a really good deal um so there we go also grab a couple of a challenge red same 49.99 yeah i like that 49 price i don't think you can go wrong with that on here all right let me go next one uh air force 270 carnivore um i don't even know if this is even the right shoe if i pulled up the right shoe but i know it looks like this maybe it's a little bit different on the pull tab i don't even know $59.99, Burlington, uh, smash or pass on this one. I think at my outlets, we have this for kids. And I think they were at one point like 39 plus 20% or something like that. Like they were ridiculously cheap. Men's, I've only seen them in like a black and white colorway. I haven't seen this, what's going on here, but $59.99. Um, interesting, pass and a couple of passes. <laughs> Uh, but Burlington, I have not seen this shoe either. Um, smash, pass, smash for personal, pass, pass, pass. Um, a little mix, <laughs> Soldier Voice 59. Uh, seen these everywhere. That's kind of interesting. I didn't see them at all. Um, let me see. <laughs> Markman, pass, pass, and pass. And going on eBay, style code only, 43 results. And um, what's kind of interesting, though, is that uh, everyone's kind of priced pretty high. 128, 118. I don't think I got the right shoe, unless something, oh, maybe it's because of reflective. 123, that's what they have them listed. Uh, 119, 113, no lid. 
Uh, let me see. Let me go to uh, completed and see. So out of how many? 43 results. Nine have sold. Um, 114. 119, 115, 114 range. So it looks like we're at like the 109 to 115 dollar range. But even then, there hasn't been a lot of them that sold. Only nine, um, and it is an ugly shoe. Um, look at these pictures, though. Man, they really like, especially when they have these like dudes wearing them and stuff. Make them look real cool, huh? Like, like, oh yeah, I can wear them with these. Looking fly on there. Yeah, you're not gonna find anybody wearing these. At least I don't think so. But hey, if you're in the collection, you want them. Who am I to judge? All right, let me go back down. So for me, pass. You could try it, see what happens, since there's not a lot of listings, but I just don't see it happening. So give it a pass. All right, I think this is our last one for Smash or Pass. Men's Jordan 6 Infrared. Smash or Pass. Collection or Resell. What are you going to do? Um, is the infrared the right color for you? Do you like them if it's collection-wise? Uh, so Jordan Infrared 6, let me know. Smash. And these uh, will be coming out on Saturday. So we have Thursday, Friday, Saturday releases. Um, let me see. Smash for the collection. Uh, let me see. In 10 years, people say these are so cool. All oh, the other ones, yeah. Uh, let me see. Smash. Let me see. Sold early pairs. Super Smash. Uh, smash all day. Pass on resale. It's from Mark. Uh, pass for resale. Smash for collection. Collection only. Um, let me see. Thrift School, what's up? Smash. Uh, Mr. Sports LA. Super Smash. Uh, collection for sure. And let me go. Here are my thoughts. Smash. Collection, definitely. Or super small men's sizes. There's not going to be a lot of profit in this one when you're talking about reselling. Collection-wise, you're good. But I, I really think the rankings-wise, we're looking at those blue chill, number one, to make money resell-wise. Then you have the turbo green and then you have these resale wise. I don't see a lot of profit in this. I think for the most part, they're probably gonna go for like 240, 245 range. They are 200 retail uh, plus tax and all that. Unless you have some sort of a hookup to where you're paying less than, re than retail, that's a totally different thing. But in this case, going to the mall, doing that, ugh, I don't think it's gonna be that great of a profit for it. All right, um, adapt basketball for resale. That's a tough one too. I can kind of see it reselling for really good though in the very beginning and let's see what happens with the market as it goes on, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, all right, let's go to, uh, we're done with Smasher Pass. That was it. So it looks like we're done. We're down to um, our comments and our closing shout outs and we're done for this episode. We got five minutes left. We'll do some Q&A. Uh, we'll probably go over our eight minutes, but all right. The Deaf Genius asks, why do shoes at Ross and Marshall's feel fake compared to Foot Locker? I swear, all those shoes at Ross are like air weight, while shoes at Foot Locker have weight to them. And um, so let me ask, let me, uh, these are actual comments. People <laughs> cue the loss prevention comments. It's kind of funny. People are asking like, are these real comments? I'm like, yes, they're real comments. Like this is, this is what they ask. So to answer, answer your question. Um, so if you go to Ross, you're saying that, why do they feel fake or feel light compared? Um, it's because you probably picked up, there's this brand called RBX. Um, you probably picked up, you know, that, that model that feels really light, really cheap. And that's probably why it doesn't feel like a Foot Locker shoe. So that's my answer to that one. All right, next one. Um, Lori asks, I'm repeating what I thought. Do you like to go into women's clothes or you want to just stick with the sneakers and men's clothes? Um, <laughs> so first when I read this, I was like, do you like to go to women's clothes? Like, 
I, I don't try on women's clothes. It's not my deal. Um, but I do research women's clothes and sell if it's like um, certain hiring. I did show women's clothes on the Burlington one. I had a Jordan jacket. That was pretty cool. Um, but I do I do get where kind of we're going with this. And I agree. Like we do to get we need to get more women's shoes and clothing in the videos. So something I'll work on. And uh, at least, the you know, they can see, um, you know, some of the uh, women's pickups for the collection or to resell. So I'll work on that for uh, the next up and coming vlogs um, and get that in-store action to see. So there we go. <laughs> That's for my girlfriend. That's from Mark. All right. Closing. Shout out to District Deals for, um, man, Pinstripe Pennies. I don't know how this happened, why this happened, but we don't question Burlington. We just pick them up and we sell them. District Deal, District Deal shout out to you for $59.99 uh, for the pinstripe pennies. That's an awesome pickup. Looks like size is what, 10? I can't see that one. Uh, nine and a half and also a 10. So 10, 10, and nine and a half. Um, that's awesome. And yes, early, um, what is it? Uh, early uh, recommendation for find of the year. It looks like we're getting there, but that's awesome. $59.99. All right, next one. Footy finds. This one was random. Like this one, I I don't even know. Because if I would have saw these, this, this is why it pays off to do the research. Um, so these are Celtics Nike practice jerseys, but they are Nike um, and they're reversible. So if you would have saw this in your Burlington at this price, $49.99, would you have just left or would you have done the research to see um, if this is something you'd want to pick up? But look at these solds. I mean, 150, 150 range, reversible uh, Boston Celtics jersey. Um so that's crazy. I mean, $49.99 compared with value of $100 um, and doing the research going into that. It's the same thing. The reversible jersey. I think he did pick up three. Uh, man, it looks like size large too. Um, really selling good. But $150, that is crazy. Um, so, man, um, I appreciate that. Um Thanks for all the tips. So my first pair of cleats for 95 bucks play, uh, paid $19.99 at Burlington. Appreciate that for the super chat $4.99. Um, yeah, great job on that. $19.99 to the hundred dollar flip. That's awesome. Um, so appreciate that for the super chat and thanks for watching the channel too. And actually going out and getting it by getting your fines and selling them. Um, let me see. So I passed, I passed. Um, did you really pass on these? Let me know. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like if you would have saw these, it would have been like, that's what I'm saying. You either would have just left or you would have done the research to really see if this is something worth picking up. But that's random, like for a practice jersey. Um, and the next one, uh, Luck Ducks so found, the, for, uh, found the Air Max TNs, which now that we know there's quite a bit of them out there, but I'd only seen two of them in my area. Now it looks like there's quite a bit. And uh, Faith Lopez, who picked up these coach boots, I think for like, what, five bucks? I know Faith is in the chat, but I think she picked them up for like $5. Super cheap on the uh, Ross clearing. So they marked everything down. That's pretty awesome. Good find there. And remember, tag me right here. It'll show up on the tags. Tag me on your finds. I can shout you out on the live show at the very end. We do all the closing shout outs and everything and see what people are finding out there in their areas. What are they had already sold? And of course, you can be like district deals and finding a whole bunch of stuff. So shout out to you guys and appreciate that for uh, sending me um, that. And I could throw that in for uh, the live shows. So let me go back and let me see. Man, where'd this go? So I can <laughs> close this thing. All right. And we are done. So any uh, last Q&A you want to throw out there? Uh, anything you want to say? Uh, we're past our... Uh, hour mark but i was a little late so we can throw out there for any uh yeah questions yeah thumbs up appreciate that helps me out a little thumbs up here and there uh laurie appreciate that ocean so too appreciate that too um let me see give, give glenn some likes thanks 
Um, I'm new to eBay. Would you recommend selling a variety of different things to build up my account and then focus on a certain area or focus on an area right away? If you're new to eBay, I recommend just selling variety of items that are already in your house. Don't spend money to source items. Get that stuff listed, stuff you don't want anymore. Build up your account. You really want to get good feedback. Then you can look at uh, putting in money um, for fines and going out and researching things. I mean, you can do that now if you have some capital, but still with a with a you know low rating feedback type of rookie eBay account, it's going to be tougher for you to move high end cleats and Kobe's and other stuff because you don't have the feedback yet. So focus on that, build it up, and then you can get into your uh, niche research and building it up. Uh, Mr. Sports LA, thanks as always. Well, thanks for watching um, and being here every uh, Wednesday on the live. Um, your channel has helped me and what? Another family pay for rent. Good job. Appreciate that. Hey, like I said, you guys watch the channel, but you guys are the ones that make it happen by go finding things and doing the research, selling things correctly at the right price and, you know, making money, all of that. So um, appreciate that. And you guys are doing your thing. Would you ship toddler grade school shoes? Um, let me see, first class or priority mail. Um, toddler shoes, you can actually do it first class if they're really, really light. Um, but also depends how much did they pay. Like if they're if you selling baby foams, shout out to uh, Jake and Will, um, <laughs> then you can send those out uh, first class. But if they don't, if they're not, um, I guess they didn't pay a lot for them. That's different. But if they did, they put in a hundred bucks. You don't really want to just send them out all cheap. Um, but they definitely fit in like the padded flat rate envelope, which has now gone up to about eight bucks. So it's up to you. Uh, let me see where I go. Baby foams love out loud. So I'm Patrick. Uh, let me see. What's the lowest you would purchase on Air Max 95s? I mean, even at 59 at Marshall's, if the price is right, I wouldn't mind picking those up. I mean, depends on the colorway too and the size. Some are selling for like 120, 140. I mean, it just depends. But um, 59.99, I think that's still a good price. 49 even better, but 49 to 59, that's about about the range right now. Um, <laughs> Jake, uh, baby, what? So we're talking about baby uh, foam posits. So uh, if you guys remember, there's an out hustled episode where they picked up a lot of those um, Jake, know it to flip it and will, which I don't know if he's in here. He was here earlier in the chat. And so Kenny was giving them a hard time. And uh, I thought it was pretty hilarious. Um, how do you get people to leave you feedback? No one does. Yeah, people are like, I don't know why people are kind of shysty with the feedback. Um, but you can do a couple of things. You can leave like some little um, note in there saying like, hey, if um, you, you know, I guess if you're uh, happy with the item or things like that, let me know and leave me positive feedback. Or not telling them to leave you positive feedback, but you'd appreciate it um, if they left the feedback. And you could tell them, people have done it sort of tell them like if it's good or bad, but they always say like, please contact me before, you know, leaving bad feedback or escalating it to something. But it's almost like a reassur reassurance of like, Hey, if you're happy with your item, let me know, contact me. Just want to make sure everything's good. But um, I've seen people to where they um, they just monitor it. And as soon as the person got that same item that day, it got delivered. I've seen people literally do this with all of their items. Hey, I just noticed that it got delivered. Just want to make sure your item um, is good and everything is 100%. And if it is, you know, I'd appreciate feedback and things like that. But for me, I'm like, man, if you're sending out a lot of items, that's going to be really time consuming. And I don't like to give them, I don't like to give customers any ideas that uh, <laughs> if they're truly not happy with something, deal with that later. But I don't want to throw any ideas in their heads. So you could do that too. Um, <laughs> exactly. Uh, Doug the Pug. Are those baby phones behind you? Yes, they are. They're uh, the blue ones. And I have the black ones. And they are for my unborn child that I, if I ever have kids, at least I have uh, some cheap uh, pairs behind me. They're actually B grades from Ross when they had like super cheap. Um, but yeah, 
we'll see if I ever have kids. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so who knows? All right. And uh, how do you pay yourself? Do you just uh, reinvest the buy cost and take the profit? Um, so it's kind of a, a weird question because um, I do take certain money out from like the eBay sales and the shoe sales to reinvest. And then I keep some for that. But I also make money from other stuff. So like Merch by Amazon and like YouTube, stuff like that will pay for bills and other things because those things don't cost me um, money to reinvest. So that's why it's it's different. Um, but in your case, like let's say you're just solely relying on reselling products, physical products, then once you get that money back, you should put some away to pay yourself, some to put away to um, to reinvest, and then some just for like, a rainy day type of thing. You never know what's going to happen. Um, flat tire or something happens. You need some money, uh, but you would kind of divide it or it also depends on what your goal was. Cause I put, instead of like paying myself, I was like, I took minimal on that and put the rest of it into student loans. And then I was not eating great stuff. Kind of like what hustle B was talking about ramen noodles, frozen pizza, all that stuff. Um, my girlfriend at the time, now wife, we didn't go out anywhere, only one day out of the week. And that was like the only way uh, <laughs> for me to kind of like pay off these loans and get some money stacked up. I was like, I'm not going to waste money on dumb stuff. But she stuck with me and still here. So that's what I would do. Uh, what do you do? What do you do if your shoes are not on the mystery apps? Um, you could submit it um, and then they could uh, add it on to there and then you'll see it on there. Um, but you can submit it um, through the app and then they could add it on. So there we go. Um, all right. I think we're done and um, I get a new video. I think um, I'm finally going to get some how-to videos mixed in there. And then um, I'm also going to uh, get more of those vlogs, of course, on there. So Ross, Burlington, and uh, Marshalls. Uh, great show. Appreciate that, Stevie D. Thanks for loving LeBron Kings. Uh, <laughs> no doubt. Like I said, no guilt on there if you left them behind because they're big. It's a mixed result. So there we go. But if you find other ones and they're different size than that, definitely pick them up. All right. See you guys. And I'll get some new videos coming up soon. I think tomorrow or, or Friday, but I'll get some new stuff. All right. Go on and get it.